Now Chief Political Correspondent Michael Aaron joins us live from the nation's capital ahead of his keynote address. Michael? That, that's right, Mary Alice. I get to give the keynote tonight because the governor's not here. And I'm joined by two legislative leaders now. We're standing outside a reception being hosted by the Southern New Jersey Chamber of Commerce. About 125 people are inside. We pulled out the Senate president and the assembly minority leader. You took the train down, John Bramnick. How was it? Uh, crowded. But you get to sit. I sat right behind John Wisniewski, and you get an opportunity to talk to him for a while. And he brought uh, some cones down to make fun of Bridgegate. So I figure uh, that's the only issue he had. So I tried to talk to him about taxes and other issues. No, he just wanted to talk about Bridgegate. So, but we had an opportunity to speak. That was pretty cute, though, the cone. I I'd give him an A for creativity, but uh, uh, a C for public policy. Senate President Sweeney, uh, you did not take the train. Why not? You're here. Well, it's important to be here, but I've taken the train before. I've taken it once, and I'm not claustrophobic, but I wound up riding in between the cars the entire way down because it was too crowded. It's important to be here. I just don't take that train. How about the fact that the governor's not here tonight? Uh, what are we to read into that? I, I wouldn't read anything into him, Michael. I really wouldn't. You know, the governor, you know, this might sound like me defending him a little bit, but he's just got gone through a presidential campaign. Uh, he's still the governor. I'm the Senate president. John's the leader in the assembly. We got work to do, and I really honestly wouldn't read anything into him. How about you? Well, you figure that I don't think you need the governor here, nor do you need him actually in the legislature to get something done. We have the ability to pass bills, reduce taxes, uh, lower regulation. We can do that without the governor. But I think the media sometimes focuses on Chris Christie because he's got this incredible uh, personality that's so charismatic. True. Uh, we, we enjoy uh Chris no, Christie. He's got a good personality, too. I was waiting he to hear well. that. I was waiting to hear that. Uh, in his budget message uh, about a week and a half ago, uh, the governor gave a fairly strong call for bipartisanship this spring, at the same time that he scolded the Democrats over the pension issue and all the constitutional amendments you're putting up. What, what are the state of uh, affairs between the two parties this winter and spring? I, Michael, I think they're fine, really. You know, I consider John a friend, Tom's a friend. You know, people try to make it, make it too much of a Republican Democrat. It makes good ink. You know what I mean? It sells well. We fight and disagree, but Democrats fight and disagree. You know, me and Prieto couldn't get along at times. And it wasn't we didn't get along. We do get along. We just have different ideas. At the end of the day, it's getting the job done. We want to work with my colleagues on the Republican side of the aisle on the TTF. I think it's extremely important to nail it down by June. And as John said, we have time, but we have to get it done. 